Hi, this is John Marie Domino from Vippy's Designs and Decoupage Rocket Girls. I came across this technique that you can add to your rock decoupaging and it's called crackle. And it mimics the look of old china and pottery. And after you do this, you can take one of your napkins and you could decoupage right on top of it like I do here with this cute little pig and you can see all the little crackles in there and it gives it a nice vintage look. And I'm going to show you how to do this. You can do this. The first thing we're going to use is rocks, of course. Um, pick dark color rocks. Make sure they're clean and dry. We're not going to be putting a base coat on these rocks this time. Okay. Now you're gonna want all purpose white glue and you're gonna put some on, not too much, you don't need a lot. Take a brush, this is a flat bristle brush and you're just going to put the glue all over the rock. Try to work it in, cover the whole rock like that. And then when I'm finished, and I think I got the glue spread out pretty good, I'm just gonna do a little downward stroke like that. I'm gonna put that aside to set, maybe about a minute or so. So while we're waiting, the next step is paint. I'm going to put paint right on top of that glue. I chose white paint because the white paint is gonna show off the crackles, which are the color of this rock. I'm also going to be using two different things side by side so you can see the difference in what you use to paint on the rock with because these will give you kind of two different sort of crackles. Well, you'll see when I uh, demonstrate it for you. Okay, so, should be ready. Okay, I'm gonna take a paintbrush first and I'm gonna put it on half like this, downward stroke. Try not to go over it too much because what happens is it starts to lift the paint up. Okay, the next is a pouncer. Okay, it's a pouncer brush. This goes on a little differently, as you'll see. Okay. Now, one thing I wanna tell you that's also going to affect the way the crackle looks is how much paint and glue you put on. If you put a lot of paint and glue on, you're going to get a thicker crackle. Okay. So now I'm going to use a hairdryer set on high and that's going to create the crackle. Okay, so it's gonna get loud. So let's just take a look. Here we go. So that came out pretty good, and I hope you can see that the brush did give a thicker, um, wider little crackle, uh, but the sponge gave a really nice, fine, almost like that old porcelain look. Okay, this rock is hot, so you want to give it some time to dry, and the stuff on top is kind of gooey anyway. So I'm just going to put this one to dry or to cool, uh, and I have already, of course, a rock ready. Here it is. Okay, it's got a nice, fine crackle in it. I picked a napkin, this is it. I thought a rose would look really pretty. I took one panel like that. I'm gonna remove those back la uh, layers. Remember, we only need that top one, that nice thin top layer. Put that aside. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to deckle the edge like I did on this one. This deckling really softens it and helps the edges to blend into the rock. And I'm going to use a water brush the water brush has a tube on one side where you put water and then the water dispenses right through the brush on the bottom. And then we're going to trace around the part of the napkin that I want to use. And then I'm going to just use my fingers and I'm going to pick at it like this. Okay, and you can see how the deckel is formed from using the water. Here, I'm just going to hold that up so that you can see it, okay? All right, but I have one already, okay? So here's my rock, and I'm going to place the rose where I want it on the rock. Now, this is a bigger 
um, image that I normally use. So I'm gonna actually put this on a little bit differently than I usually do. Okay, so we're gonna use our Mod Podge decoupage glue. Okay. Now, one thing you could do before you put the glue on, um, and I want this to stay in place, is I'm just gonna put a little bit of water so I know where it's gonna stay. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna put the glue right onto the rock, just like this. Okay. And then I'm gonna put this down. I'm just gonna gently brush it like that. Now I'm going to do the other half as well. Put the glue down. I'm not using a tremendous amount. You don't want it to get too wet. Remember that top layer is very, very fragile and we don't want anything to happen to it. I'm gonna put a little bit here too. Okay, now I'm gonna use this saran wrap, which is what I always do. The saran wrap is going to protect that little thin piece of napkin while we smooth it down like that. I'm starting with the middle and I'm doing this. I want to get the air bubbles out and I'm doing this also because I don't want to get wrinkles. I have to tell you, with this crackle technique, I don't really have to worry so much about wrinkles because you're really not going to be able to see them. Okay. All right. Let's lift that off. Oh, very nice. Okay. So we have a few little pieces that are sticking up that's okay and we can smooth them down like that and if you look at it i hope you can see there's lots of nice little crackles in there really very very pretty okay i'm going to put that off because that has to draw you don't want to be touching that um i know that this is a rock and it's small so i thought i'm going to bring some bigger things for you to see because after you do rocks you can really move into other things that you like to decoupage um here's a glass jar that i did and you can see some of the crackles, so you can do it on glass. Um, here's a really cute little birdhouse I did, and I did a nice crackle, and then I took this really pretty napkin, of course I got these from Bippy's Designs, and I decoupaged it right on top. All right, here's a horse I did, um, really pretty. This is just a canvas board, and I did the same thing with the decal, and I decoupaged on top exactly the same way. And I have to show you this. <laughs> this is a birdhouse, and I did use one of Vippy's napkins on the sides of the birdhouse, but I left the crackle. So this is some other things that you can move into after you have practiced on your rocks. And if you just do rocks, of course, this is a wonderful addition to it. Um, so I hope that you like this. I really love this technique. I've been doing it a lot, and I want to thank our sponsor, Vippy's Designs. Um, they provide all the things for me to use. You can go to their website, www.vippies.com. You can see their cute little calendar pads. They have rubber stamps. Of course, they have decoupaging supplies. They even have wooden things that you can decoupage. Um, they have their cute little calendar pads. We don't want to forget about those. And then these... These are matchbook notepads. Um, they look like a matchbook when you open it. It has a little pad of paper in it. See that? Hello? You can decoupage these. And I have a video coming up that's going to show you exactly how to do this. So visit their website, www.vippies.com. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Joan Marie Domino. And on behalf of Vippies Designs and Decoupage Rocket Girls, thank you for watching my video.